Hello, this is Lady Court. Don't adjust the video because you will see nothing. It's nighttime. I just wanted to do a quick video on the QAnon, FISA memos, um, everything that's going on. There's been memos released after the original um, implicating possibly Obama knowing everything that was going on about the DNC paying for the dossier against Trump. Um, now, I'm not really gleeful about all this. I didn't vote for Obama, but as an American citizen, I hoped that he would be good for our country. And in the eight years, he didn't do much for anyone. So, I was highly disappointed. And Clinton was a big disappointment. I'm talking about President Clinton. Um, not so much, you know, on how the country was for eight years, but his uh, character was very disappointing. I saw as a high school teacher students starting to think that oral sex was not sex. No big deal. Thanks to President Clinton. So the decline of our morality in this country was helped along by him. The Bushes, no better. They're all in on it, too. And we'll find out about all this if they dig deep enough. Father Bush and his son. We've been in quite a mess for decades. Decades. It's just become more plain to see since Clinton, really. I'm not saying that Reagan or Carter or Ford or Johnson... Uh, He's another one, but weren't, you know, involved in nefarious things. But it's just been more blatant in the 90s and the early 2000s up until today. And it's not that I agree with everything President Trump says <clears throat> or does. But I'll tell you the main difference, the big difference. He wasn't expected to be president, obviously. Look at what they did to try and keep it from happening. And then if it did happen, they had something that uh, Paige, the FBI agent, the female, and her lover, the other FBI agent, were discussing about insurance. Insurance meaning possible assassination. Insurance meaning bringing up things to get him impeached, like the false Russian dossier. All kind of things that they were hoping to accomplish to get him out of office. And the main problem is, for all of them in Congress and in power, was that for the first time, in a very long time, in my lifetime, here was a man, a president, that couldn't be bought. Who could not be bought. Who couldn't be blackmailed. Nothing. They couldn't influence him. He was a wild card. He was going to come in and disrupt their world. And as we can see, their world is being disrupted. And I'm talking about Republicans and Democrats being disrupted. Now, Trump ran on the Republican ticket, but is he a full-fledged conservative, completely Republican? Not exactly. He did it because it would work, and it worked. Now, one thing he does believe in is the United States of America. He believes in that wholeheartedly. 
and it believes it should work like it was meant to work without all this corruption and underhanded stuff that's been going on for decades. So you remember, whether you're Democrat or Republican, whether you like Trump or you hate Trump, he is the first one that cannot be bought. And, and that is huge, gigantic. I can't stress it enough how important that is. And I pray that some of this mess on both sides, in the middle, up and down, backwards and forwards, gets cleaned out. And we see the criminals for exactly who they are. They have wasted our money as taxpayers. They have wasted our time. They have extorted money from us lie in their pockets, wasted other countries' money that should have been theirs, like Haiti, for example, that really ticks me off. There's so much going on that we can only imagine. And some of you are in the dark, but it's time to wake up and see the light. This goes deep. It goes way deep. And it's very evil. It's not just a matter of money. It's a matter of morals and values. And these people have none. Zero. Nada. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They care about the next dollar they can put in their pocket. Millions and billions of dollars. Sex trafficking will be brought up, and a lot of it has to do with children. So get ready. It's coming, or it better come to the surface, because that's the biggest thing of all. They are destroying our youth and our country. They are destroying the youth across the world. Wait, I'm telling you, it's coming. But this president cannot be bought. That's one thing you can say about him. And with that, we might have some hope. Have a great evening.